All right, y'all. This Captain Light Man again with another video tonight. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to hit, I'm about to hit y'all on something real, real quick. I'm about to hit y'all on something real nice. See what I'm pointing at? That's the back seat. We got the back seat out because I had water. I could not figure why my 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 seats was my copper was wet. All the way, the both back seats was wet, and the front like what the hell is the water coming from? Hmm. It was the light I, insta I installed after Marker Light. It wasn't aligned right, so it's not the, it's not the factory ones that had given me the problem. I took them all and put them in on. It was it was aligned wrong, so it wasn't creating the seal. It was causing the water when you hit the brakes. The water from inside the, the spare tire will rush into here. Then it, somehow you hit the brakes again, it rush and leak all the way in the car. So if you have a 2014, I think 2014 220, and you getting your your floor, your your floors are wet in the rear, you smell mildew. Your problem is your, your rear light seals are bad. Just go on eBay, or Amazon, get some new seals on for your rear lights, and then put them on, and then be done with it. I know um, what's that guy name? Um, it's a couple of guys on, on YouTube that has that, that had other ways. They use silicone and put the gasket on and silicone it up, and then you you fine. The problem is just the gasket. The gasket fails. Sometimes the gas fails. It's a, it's a factory defect. Chevy got a lot of defects going on. I don't know what's up with them. I never had a car with the seal go bad. Sometimes I look from seals. If you don't, if you don't break the seal, those gaskets you never take the lights off. They never go bad. So I don't know what's up. Chevy just making Chevy now making poor quality falls on little things like gaskets and stuff like that. So yeah, You're, like once again, if your floor is wet, both both parts. Now I tell I'm saying, your light is leaking water inside the trunk. And you got out when your spare tire is full of water. That's how mine was this week. I checked it. I couldn't figure out what that noise was, what that water's coming from. And I finally figured it out. After I looked at a YouTube video about about four days ago, and I got my new lights in way, way for them. I got some replacement lights because it was warranted because the problem was it wasn't lining right, and the water was getting inside the light. I couldn't figure where it was coming from, but they gave sent me some new lights from Car Art Car Car it. New aftermarket lights, put them in. No more leaks. And they, and they, I should know something's wrong with them. But when I got them, when I got the lights, they was um these lights right here. That's my little puncher sign. But yeah, when I got the when I got the lights, they didn't come with no seal. So I thought I thought they normally come like that. So you know what I did? What I did was I just took the seals off the old lights and put them on there. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. But now I got these new set I got that car I did replaced under warranty. Both lights came with the seals. So yeah, it, it was defective right out the box. I had no more problems. No more problems. Like I said, if you want to put the lights in. It's easy. You got a boat. You got a boat right here. Boat right here. Boat right here. This thing is a T, T20, I believe. Boat right here. Boat right there. And a boat right down. A boat down right here and over there. This is you want. You can do one side at a time. This, this once you loosen this up, I think this is this boat right here is a seven millimeter. This boat right here is a seven. I think yes, yeah, seven millimeter. These are star bits, T20. Right here. Easy. It's pool. Jelly pool. I, me I broke, I messed my bracket up. I had to replace this bracket because I pulled it off too fast and didn't pay attention. I broke it. I had to replace that bracket behind it to hold this bumper on here. Easy. It's, once you got them both out, it's literally pull. Pat, 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 pat. Pull it away. Pull this. Pull that. Bam. Pull it out a little bit. Loosen your light. It's, it's uh, Boats in the back of the boats are eight millimeter in the back. Once the lights loose, the bumpers this size loose. Pull it out. It's easy, easy. It ain't that hard. You ain't got to take the whole bumper down. Unless you want to take, you, you want to lean both sides down if you want to. But you can do one side at a time. Real easy. It's be, you know, it's real easy, easy. You know. But yep. Yeah, it's my damn trunk. Don't laugh, y'all. Junk as hell. That's my little sign right there. Little puncher sign. You know, something, little, little, little something I created. I had a little, little punch, a little punch of skull with lights all around. It's some, some shit. I was bored, you know. It ain't perfect, but it's all right. It's all right. Some people, some people like it. Some people hate it. It's all right. It's my little creativity. Something, first time I ever did, you know. It's all good. Another little glow in the dark eyes, little red eyes right there. That's a little sign right there to punish you. I got to clean this trunk out, but yeah, that's your problem. These, light, these lights right here, the gas behind them go bad. The factory ones, I mean, these are replaceable. These are um, not factory, but the factory ones, they go bad too. The gas will go bad back there. When the gas will go bad, it leaves water in the trunk, runs down here, right to your, right your floor thing, right down there. It's full of water. When you hit the brakes, 
That shit get all in your car. To total disaster. But thank God I caught it. It took a while for me to catch it. Five, six months later, but I, I, I kept spraying my car with spray and spray and spray. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What the smell? Could not, did not know in, in, inside my trunk, inside my trunk, the damn, um, the damn, um, what you call it? Everything in the trunk had, had, a, had a, a mist on it. Like, why is it wet and moist in my trunk? I could not figure that shit out, man. I never had no problem like that before. That's what it was. And I thought, never thought those lights would leak water into the, you know, anyway. That's it, y'all. I got this seat up to get this seat up. To be the seat up, because me not knowing how to pull it up, I broke the tab. My, my dumb butt. And I broke the tabs. So I had to order some new tabs. Got some for China and got some other ones coming in. $25 for two tabs. Put it on. It's easy. This little thing right here. Take the back seat out. Little piece. You got to push. You got to get in your car, put it in, and push, push forward. And these hooks right here, it connects them on. These are front clips that go right here. If you pull that thing up without pulling the seat up and hitting that clip, at least that clip. This up and see me flapping. So you don't want that, but yeah. Yep, six months of water pouring in my car. I didn't even know why. I thought I thought there was something going on. Oh well. Alright y'all. I'm sorry for this long video. It's Captain Light Man. My IG is Captain Light Man. Like, subscribe. But well, even you don't like it. It's all good, you know. My handyman. Doing a little something, you know. Trying to help people out, you know, if they had any problems. A lot of people got this issue. With this car. All on YouTube they had this issue. Even on my own, even on the, um, Facebook, we got a we got a um, a temp gen page where, where people have these problems with the, with this and that and you know so all right y'all I'm out cop the light man digs I'm out you know that's all I share a little something with y'all all right all y'all y'all stay safe you know wear your mask you know where possible all right y'all peace.